Well, good evening, book lovers. Welcome back to another episode of Cat Lit Live. I am your host, Amy Catapan. You can find me everywhere on social media under my pen name, AJ Catapan. So good to be back with all of you again. It's been about a month and it's been a very busy past month for me. As many of you know, I was the chair of the Catholic Writers Conference Live at the end of July, uh, which was held in the Chicago area. And then after that, I had about six more speaking engagements in the three weeks after that. Lots of teacher retreats and teacher in-service days and just had a lot of fun talking at education conferences and Catholic conferences. And um, starting up the new school year uh, and uh, working on possibly a new book. So stay tuned as to what may be coming from me. But today I'm bringing you an author who is very well known, very well published. Uh, but this is his first children's book and it just released from Loyola Press. So I'm very happy today to have with me Gary Jansen. He's a popular speaker and the author of several books, including the multi-award winning Micro Ships, The 15-Minute Prayer Solution, Station to Station, Life Everlasting and the memoir, Holy Ghost. I actually own the 15 minute prayer solution. So I can tell you I have read it and enjoyed it. But today we're gonna talk about his first children's book. It's called Remember Us with Smiles. And as I mentioned, it released recently from Loyola Press. So please help me welcome Gary Jansen to the show. Hi Gary, how are you? Hi Amy, good to see you. Good to see you too. Welcome to Catholic Live. So happy to have you with me tonight. Yeah, thanks for having me. I really appreciate this. Thanks. So we're talking about your book that just came out <laughs> earlier this summer, I think from Loyola Press, Remember Us with Smiles. That's Give right. us the quick little elevator pitch. What is this book about? Sure. So this is um, my first illustrated children's book, and it's really a story about a family sharing memories of, of their, their time together. It's about celebrating the simplicity of family life and how really like ordinary moments in memory can really turn out to be something extraordinary. And so it's about celebrating the family. It's about celebrating those special moments. And it's really kind of an homage to, to just childhood and how special childhood can be. Now, I know you've written books on spirituality. I showed everyone before your 15 minute oh, prayer book that you. I've had. Yes. I think my spiritual director recommended this to me years ago and was like, oh, here's, here's, here's one that you should try. Um, and I enjoyed it. But this is your first children's book. What made you want to switch to writing <laughs> from writing spirituality books for adults to a children's book? Sure. Well, I mean, I'm a firm believer, and I say this probably every day to a number of people that, you know, everything is spiritual, right? So every part of your life, whether you're a parent or a teacher or, you know, someone who works in an office, your family is a spiritual experience. And, and so this is a deeply spiritual book, even though it's not necessarily about spirituality, because there is, because it really is a book about love and the love of a family. And right there, that's kind of for me, that's, that's, that's the foundation for our spirituality, right? Which is exploring how love manifests itself in so many different ways. And so I think one of the reasons why I wanted to write the book was that my wife and I and a number of our friends were feel, really feeling nostalgic for when our kids were small. Our, you know, mm -hmm. My son is, you know, my, I have two sons. One's 18, going to turn 19, one's 14. And... You know, they're different. Obviously, they're different because they're older. But those those early years when you could have a really just amazing time in an afternoon, like building a fort with some chairs and some blankets and or just sharing ice cream together and 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 the laughter that can happen just from those simple moments. We felt really nostalgic because, well, kids are on phones a lot or they're, you know, they're, they're you know, they, they, they have other concerns in their lives at this point. And so there was a little bit of nostalgia and just kind of. um uh, a little bit of sadness too about that th those moments go by so quickly. So the book was really kind of a celebration of those moments and, and a reminder to our children and not only our children, but anyone who reads this about pay attention to those, you know, pay attention to your family and pay attention to those, those, those early years and, and have fun with memory because memory can really be a transformative experience. So let's talk about that memory <laughs> thing. So why is that so important? Why did you kind of make that the focus of your book? Yeah, so I mean, for a number of reasons, one being that, you know, we have a number of friends who have um, parents who have, you know, they've developed Alzheimer's mm -hmm. or they, they're suffering from dementia and, and you, 
in talking with them and, 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 and meeting with them as well, you realize we take memory for granted, right? Until those memories aren't there anymore, until memory is kind of ripped away. And the, uh, and so for me, memory is all about connection. Like, you know, meeting you for the first time. Now, now tomorrow, I'll have a memory of this. But before that, you know, you and I had not connected, right? And in, in you know, through email. Yeah, email had, email's not the same. <laughs> email's not the same. And so, you know, we didn't have a connection, but tomorrow we will have a connection through memory. And that's how we connect with people, obviously through the experience, but then we connect with them again through memory. And that could be obviously a good thing, bad thing. You can have good memories, bad memories, but the uh, but I really feel like focusing on memory can be a deeply spiritual experience because you get to relive, you know, some of those really amazing moments. Not so great if you get stuck, you know, reliving like horrible moments that happened in your life. Um, you know, we want to obviously live in the present, but the but memory can be just something that really like, like gets you through tough times, right? Yeah. And so I think especially like if you have kids and kids are struggling as teenagers, you know, being able to help them remember who they are, you know, where they came from, how they were loved can sometimes get them through a difficult situation. Yeah, as you were talking, I was thinking about how we pray the mysteries of the rosary. We're kind of remembering, <laughs> right? All those stories from the Bible and what that does for our spirituality to remember those times, both the, you know, the joyful, the sorrowful, <laughs> the glorious, the oh, luminous, absolutely. right? Both yeah. the sad and, and the joyful are in <laughs> there. Yeah, and actually my first book was on the rosary and the way I described it was that the rosary is really like a scrapbook, right? And you're kind of like sitting with Mary on a couch and she's going through the scrapbook of Jesus's life. And it's like, oh, oh I got to tell you about time? this. Remember this time? <laughs> so you're not going to believe it, but shepherds actually showed up and these three kings, right? And the, uh, but that's what it is. So you're, you're right. Like the rosary and our spirituality really, memory is a very important part of it. And and in the Bible, you could say, is a book that says, don't forget, don't forget who I am, right? And don't forget what I've done for you. Remember, you know, and I think God is constantly asking us to remember. So you wrote this book with your wife and it's yeah. the first one you've written with her, right? So what was that like? After all, yeah, she's writing books on your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, she was, you know, she's such a dictator, you know, she was such a bully. <laughs> no, but she was, um, she was, was she the deadline one? Was she like, right. we have to finish by this time? <laughs> yeah, she's very precise and I'm very sloppy. So, you know, it's like the Oscar and Felix of, of, of marriage and the, uh, but she, no, it was wonderful because one, she's been my, my greatest editor and she's edited, you know, all my books in the past and has given me great feedback and, and been a great support. So writing this book together, this, this book actually started out as a love letter to her. Mm. And then, but there was something that she, at one point, she's like, wow, this could actually be a book, right? And we kind of put that idea away, but we came back to it. And so we started like looking at that letter and we started taking a bunch of stuff out. And then she added some stuff and then I added some stuff. And it went through a series of, 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 of changes over a long period of time. And then essentially ended up with the book that we have. So She's been fantastic. I wish she could be here tonight, but um, she's much more likable than I am. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm very excited for you and your wife to put out this book together. Can you tell our followers, our viewers, where can they learn more about you and your books? Oh, absolutely. So check out GaryJansen.com, redesigning my website right now. So, um, but you can still learn a lot about like what's going on there. And uh, you really can get the book anywhere. So, you know, check out Amazon, BarnesandNoble.com, IndieBound, you know, for support your local bookstore and your independent bookstores and uh yeah great well thank you so much for coming on gary and i hope a lot of people go and check out your book it sounds like it's really worthwhile thank you <laughs> thanks amy all right uh, all thank right. you so much for having me on yeah absolutely have a good night all right god bless Bye. thanks all right, so go check out Gary's book. Again, it's from Loyola Press and it just released this summer. So check out Remember Us with Smiles by uh, Gary Jansen and his wife. And don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If by chance you have checked out his book already or if you've read any of Gary's other books you'd like to recommend to people, feel free to throw that into the comments. I know people like to know if other people have already read the book or if they know other books by him, we would be happy to hear. So in the meantime, I'm going to wish you all happy reading. Have fun, everyone.